doing here? I don't know. The cool air feels good. Who are you, love? What is purpose of this? I'm the moderator. And as you know, things have gotten a little tight downstairs. There's an opportunity for one of you to move up to the next level. You mean? No, I'm not talking the penthouse. More like the mezzanine. It's a lot less sweltering. And they serve snacks on Friday. It's a lot more desirable than down there. So, who wants to start? Joseph? I am pacifist. Really? I know on outside I look like a bad person, but I only try to preserve country. You killed roughly 10 million people. You're right. But if this is numbers game, I'm out. Well, all of mine were filthy horrors, you know. Uh, right, though, what I meant to say was I think I was doing them a favor. Sending them to a better place. At least I had the guts to look at their faces when I did it. You're a bit of a coward, aren't you, mate? Oh, you're a haggis eaten British turd. Let's watch the name calling, Ted. Scots eat haggis. And thirds. You're supposed to be convincing me why you should move up. What about you, Lizzie? Well. My father was a very strict man. When I was a child, he used to punish me severely. When he married my stepmother, it only got worse. But they got theirs. Oops. You were just doing what the Bible told you. An eye for an eye. Ain't that right, my love? You realize he slices up women, don't you? Just because you're not the ladies' man, Ted. You don't have to ruin it for all of us, you know. I think all of you are filthy capitalists. I will kill you all. What? I thought I was out. Besides, I like it down there. It is uh, dry heat. Let's talk about the positive qualities we all share. They love that upstairs. I like dogs. Good, good. I had a little terrier. He was the love of my life. I was a good daughter. <sighs> you murdered your parents with an ax. Allegedly. And you? Let me guess. You're a people person. Don't push me. When I was a young man, my neighbors had no food. I would go to market. I can't believe I... the crap I'm hearing. We've got the world's original serial killer telling us how much he loves dogs. We have, we have daddy's little girl in a state of denial. I was acquitted. And Mr. Genocide himself. There seems to be a disconnect with you, Ted. Yes. You seem not to be plugged in. Disconnect. Disconnect. Technology has, has disconnected society from itself. But the government is... Yes. And, and... Ted, we all know about your little manifesto. Isn't there any positive qualities you can find in yourself? No. But when I see an injustice in the world, I... I do something about it. I guess that's my positive quality. 
Most of them were innocent, though, right? Nobody's innocent. Listen, we're all spinning our wheels here. I think we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Bad dreams again, Teddy? I... I dreamt I was going to hell. <laughs>